Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a wired joystick to control an ESC throttle control and servo motor steering control for use on a trolling motor. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is the mini joystick with the two 10K potentiometers I'm going to be using in this project. I will include the spec sheet for this joystick setup. And as you can see, I've already soldered in the wiring on both the pots. And according to the spec sheet, looking at this from above, this is going to be your X axis pot, which I will use for my steering left to right and this is your y-axis pot which the stick goes forward and reverse and I will use that for my throttle. Now it also says you need to make a mounting hole of about 40 millimeters in diameter and I measured this so if you just trace this out on wherever you're going to mount it the interior here this diameter is 40 millimeters and then of course you have four mounting screws. This is the servo controller board kit before you do any of the modifications. Now I did make a video of this project before and I will include it in the narrative section and I'll briefly go over what I'm going to do here. You have your three pin connector here for your servo and you're going to put it right there, solder it onto that board there. And then on the opposite side here is where you're going to have your leads for your 10K pot or in this case what I'm using is the 10K joystick. And to use this with the servo motor, what I'm going to need to do is run the power into this board separately. Now when you use it for an ESC, you just plug the ESC into this board and you don't have to worry about power. But as you see right here, you've got a plus and minus connection with six volts. So in order for this to work with the power supply I'm using, I had to take one of these connectors here, the ex extensions, for your three pin, this end, and this end, and then I cut off the female side and stripped off the white or the signal wire because this is going to act as my voltage plug for the voltage that needs to run this at 6 volts. So that's the little difference I made there and you'll go ahead and solder them in where I showed you. This is the completed modification for the circuit board for use with the servo motor and you can see I have my pins over here I've got my plug-in for the power and the three lines going out for the speed controller or the joystick. This is the universal BEC voltage regulator that I'm going to be using to power the servo motor for the steering. And this is rated at 6 to 36 volts, 2 to 8S LiPo batteries with a continuous rating of 8 amps and a max or a peak rating at 16 amps and it has different voltages you can choose and if you look here there's jumper pins and because the servo controller board operates at 6 volts I chose the 6 volt selection and this is the 12 volt input it has an on off switch that I will probably remove and then it has these two parallel 3 pin connectors that I will use to connect to the servo controller board itself. I wanted to give a little better detailed explanation and view of the modifications I made to the UBEC before I put it in the box because then it's going to be hard to tell what I've done. So the power input to the unit I put spade connectors on and I'll have the female spade connectors for the power and then here I cut off the on off switch and then used a 
three pin female connector and just use the positive and negative wiring and then what I took here was a new on off switch and I did the same thing on the male one here I just spliced in the positive and negative and that way this will be a quick disconnect when I want to remove it then over here on the servo control board I did the same thing for the power input I took a female three pin connector just used the positive and the negative and then one of the outputs from the BEC is going to plug into that then I'm going to put each of the servo control boards in one of these little plastic cases if you've done any work with wireless receivers you'll recognize this case and then I cut a couple little slots in here and that's where the wiring is going to come out and then I'll use some double stick tape on the back to hold it in the box okay this is what the box is going to look like just before I put it all back together but right now I have this temporary power input and I have the connections for the ESC and the servo motor just temporarily in here as well and you can see I have my two boxes there that contain the servo control boards and the one on the left is marked Y and the one on the right is marked X which corresponds to the joystick over here and then of course this is my power source right here and all I have to do now is put it all together and test it this is the trolling motor setup I'm going to be using in this project if you recognize it from a previous build it's a wireless throttle and steering controlled trolling motor using this handheld remote so what I've done for this is I've disconnected the receiver from the ESC which is mounted in the head and from the servo motor which is also running up into the head and I've extended the wiring out through the front of the head unit of this trolling motor that's what I'm going to use to connect this setup to my new control box okay I've already powered on the ESC that's in the head of the trolling motor and the servo motor that is running off the power supply in my control box so let's go ahead and test them So everything works as it should. This is a view of the exterior of the box once I put everything back together. Now it may seem a little bit large. You could use a smaller one, but I liked it because there was a lot more space inside to get all the components in there without smashing everything together. Now by using this two-axis joystick, it allows me to not have to install a kill switch because once you let go of this joystick it returns to zero and your kayak or whatever you're using this on is not going anywhere but you could use just a single axis joystick to control the steering and then use your standard knob controller for the throttle but then to be safe you would have to put in a kill switch and then I guess I forgot to mention I do have an on off switch here that goes to the power input for the servo motor. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.